Okay, I am super frustrated here. The Ozark Trail 29er, I've been looking forward to getting my hands on one of these bikes, and they finally sent me one to review, but unfortunately, you saw this if you tune into my live streams, that is a big footprint, a big boot print, it looks like, a rather large one, and this is on the left side of the bike, but look over on the right side, you can see it kind of bent out there, right where the derailleur is, and yeah. I shared a picture on a community post. I'll try to edit it in here. Shows you that that derailleur is just twisted down at the cage. The hanger was really bent in. I straightened that out, but this was mangled. So they're having to send me a new part for this, but I'm impatient. And this was an on-rack only bike, but it looks like Walmart has opened it up where you can order it to be shipped. And I know that because I ordered one. And this box too. I'm showing something down there, but I'm gonna edit in here where I actually filmed or my ring camera filmed. The UPS driver literally dragging this out, derailleur side down, sideways, you know, the box that says this end up. This was derailleur side down as he's dragging it out and bouncing it around. Plus I heard thunking in the truck that was either stuff being pulled off of this or this just falling over. So just pulled it out. Haven't even unboxed the pedals here. I wanna show you. I am super frustrated, so I'm gonna to try to be kind as I do this, but look at that. That is a bent derailleur hanger. It's bent this way, it's bent this way. And this derailleur, that cage, I mean, that's just millimeters from the spokes down there. Not good. I'm not happy with this, as a matter of fact. I don't even think I'm gonna waste resources by ordering another one of these. I'm gonna return this to Walmart let them deal with FedEx, whatever. And I'm gonna wait for them to have one of these on the rack at my local store, and then I'll review it. And that's sad, because this is these Ozark Trail. The Ozark Trail 29er, this is a decently equipped bike for the price. I can't wait to give it a go. But I guess that's gonna be a little while longer. Comment below if you too have had bikes damaged in shipping, because I've been talking with other people that have been buying bikes and I know the many that I have received this year that I've had to do little tweaks on. I might not talk about it because it's shipping damage where I have to just barely straighten a derailleur hanger or something like that being out of true. See how this is shipped. This will get pressed and warp that rim. That has to be out of true. So I've talked about that, but I want to know, am I the only one? Is the local region the people that I talk with? Are we the only ones or is this pretty much across the board? because they are doing a number on these bikes when they ship them. And it is super, super sad, really sad, when it's awesome, awesome bikes or awesome bikes per dollar, the value on these. This is something I've been looking forward to, but I'm gonna have to wait a little longer till they get them in stock at my local store and or maybe the parts arrive for that one and I can put that together. We'll see, so look forward to that, but comment below, are you too? seeing issues with shipping. And you know, I don't even think it's just bikes. I think it may be across the board. Some of the stuff, even postal service that I get now, just looks like it has been thrown, kicked, purposely crushed, and so on. Not saying anyone purposely damages stuff. Whatever the case though, something's going on that it's damaging definitely bikes and other products. So comment below. Thank you so much for watching this channel. Give it the thumbs up and have a great day.